Hey guys, and welcome to part 2 of this Pokemon Black and White 2 walkthrough. Part 2. Yeah. Um, last time, guys, if you remember, we eventually got our first badge. Um, and got a couple of team members, to be honest. Um, <coughs> so we have three of our team. Off screen, I leveled up Elekid from level 10 to level 15. Um, Fire Bacon stayed the same. And Bugsy leveled up uh, twice, I think. Either way, so this is where we're at. And this time, guys, we are going to start going through a lot more stuff. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say up to a point that we're going to get. I don't want to like not get up to a certain point. Um, just to minimize disappointment in that. Uh, so... I'm going to probably put a rappel down, and we can begin. It's back here. Heating crude oil separates into many different components. This is what the Stilichian Towers are for. So I'm not even going to listen to this guy anymore. Fuck him. Okay, so he's going to make a break for it. That was a bit weird. It's down here. Should I do wonder if they get anything off the Oh yes, this is a trainer battle, awesome. Well I'm glad I went back to it. How about that? <coughs> it's guaranteed to be like a little crab trainer, any money. And it's a Woobat. And I actually think this is the first Woobat we've seen, so, uh, it'd be awesome. And, um, we now have a decent fire-type attack on Tepig. And I say decent, I mean we have a physical same type attack bonus. <coughs> so, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And there goes Woobat. Down for the count. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm just coughing there a little bit. And there we go, Woobat is now down and defeated. What's this wifey saying? You have a Pokedex to do, do habitat. Okay, so I'm guessing if you can see every type of Pokemon that appears here, uh, Shula should give you something, I think. Um, purely in the fact that, you know, she wants to see it. So if you've seen everything in the habitat list here, uh, go back to her and she'll give you some cool stuff, I think. I'm, ha, okay. So, yeah, basically we're going to have to battle all these trainers, guys. And, um, really, we're not going to be anything too difficult. We're not going to be anything we haven't seen before. But, uh... Obviously it could take a little bit of time, it'll be quite tedious, but it'll get us some levels and it'll hopefully get us ready for the gym. <clears throat> and in particular I do want to have Fire Bacon evolved and I want to have uh, so Waddle a couple of levels higher. But um, so Waddle is actually our highest level right now. Which is uh, pretty cool. And Parrot is down. And hopefully Fire Bacon will actually get to level 16 by doing that. And yeah, he does. Ooh, do we want to go against Elekid? Yes, we do. There's a high chance it'll have static and it may paralyze me, but... Hopefully we'll be all good. And flame charge, go! And there we go, Fire Bacon has <coughs> owned him very much so, and we have beaten the first guy. Okay, so, he's all fired up now apparently. And... 
is a youngster up here. And if you look down there to the left, you can actually see a tree that needs to be cut down. So when we get cut, we can come back here. <coughs> Although I'd actually know, and I can't remember when you get cut. And it's going to use Bide, so that could be quite dangerous, potentially. And we're going to be fine, we're going to kill it. And Pat Rat should go down. Pat Rat is just, uh... I I I'm pretty sure when you catch it in the Pokedex, it actually says it is just basically Rattata. Or Rattata. Anyway, here's the second worker. Um, I think there are three overall, so... You just kind of have to take all of them out. And... This guy has a Ryolu. Uh, pretty awesome fighting type, but it won't have anything too threatening on it so far, so... You should be able to take it out. <coughs> and hey again there, TP. And Raul Yu is down, and Fire Bacon has grown to level 17. So that should be something pretty interesting happening soon. And we're going to go into Thunder 072. And hopefully he can just kind of take out Lillipop and anything else really that um, this kind of... I don't know, is this a worker or is this the... Yeah, this is a worker, wasn't it? Hopefully yeah, they can kind of take out anything this uh, worker is going to try and throw at us because really there's nothing too threatening here. And... Oh. Come on, El uh, Thunder, you have got this. And there we go, Lollipop is now down for the count, and we have not grown up a level, God damn it! However, something interesting is going to happen. Fire Bacon is evolving. Now, go and get your whole family, and gather them all together and watch this amazing moment as Fire Pig evolves. Or fire, not fire pig, fire bacon, god damn it. Just go, go and get your whole family, go and get your friends, and just kind of get them all to see this. This will be awesome. Oh yeah. We have now got a pig knight. Fire bacon, you never let me down. And you want to learn arm thrust. So we will actually forget, we're going to get rid of Tackle, and now that's just got a same type attack bonus on a physical fighting move and a physical uh, fire move, uh, fire bacon level 2, seems legit. And what's this guy saying down here? We over some of my vast knowledge, and he's gonna run off again. Where is he going now? Where is it? I'm gonna spray another repel up. What's he doing over here? I'm not interested in what you have to say. Okay, well, he's gonna uh, he's gonna give you something. He's gonna give you some more free stuff. So don't complain, I guess. And the music for this place is actually really cool. I, I really like the music here. Now, how do how do we how do we get to that guy? Oh, okay, I see it. 
There will be moments like that where it'll just be kind of like, wait a minute, how do we get there? When it turns out it's something incredibly obvious. And this is going to be Worker Isaac, and he's going to have a Magby, which is actually, as we discussed in the last part, a uh, Black 2 version exclusive. Um, so we won't actually be able to find Magby here at all. But uh, we are going to arm thrust the shit out of that. Um, arm thrust is actually a really, it's actually not a really good attack, but it's, it's pretty decent for where we're at, to be honest. Eh, you never know, it might, it might pick up. More people might kinda come and watch. And we're gonna switch over into uh, Thunder 072. And Thunder 072, you will have to completely KO this coffin, because really, you're kinda... I will kinda be using Thunder 072 majority of the time in the next gym. Um, because the next gym is poison and we haven't actually got anything that's uh, going to be like super effective over there so um, if I remember there's a lot of coughings and coughings have a really high special defense or is it defense? no it's a really high defense and it's got a mess special defense so we're going to have to try and take it out from the special defensive side with thunder but uh, you never know, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah, my well, yeah, sure. And you just a hidden item down here, and I'm not gonna use another repel because I think that's the side of the grass now. And we have gained TM46 for thief, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna try and get out of here without falling into the grass. And there we go. And I think that's us fired up his workers, so if we speak to him. We're gonna get TM49 Rock Smash. And that uh used to be a HM, but in these games it's now become a TM. So uh, you can actually get rid of it, but uh if you haven't actually if you have a fighting type right over you like Raul you even. Uh, teaching it Rock Smash might be a good shout, so... Uh, if you do it that way then, that'd be quite good. And I'll actually give it a fighting move. I think it's 40 base attack, or is it 50? It's either one or the other. <coughs> and thank you for watching. Oh man, thanks for that. That's really awesome. That, 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 is, that has continued to make my day. And where are we going now? Jesus, I, I don't even know where we're going. There's a little guitarist over here. Let's go speak to her. This guitar is awesome. We'll go on a world tour soon. Although I do have to say, um, I do like guitar, but I personally prefer bass. And um, that's not because I'm biased. <laughs> not that that really means any any sort of trivia or anything. Okay, we're gonna have to stop walking into walls. Okay, go it, go in. Okay, that was a lot more of an effort than it needed to be. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna lead with thunder. It's all silence. We're gonna speak to Clive. This is a Pokemon gym, and it's also a rock club. The gym leader and the others are participating inside, but please feel free to challenge all of them. Stay hydrated, here you go! And he's gonna give us over some fresh water. And, uh, we're gonna just go on in, and we're gonna try and take this gym down by storm. Okay, that that's not really the most uh not the most inventive music I've ever heard, I'm gonna admit. 
Get in my way and I'll knock you out. Stay out of my way, I'll knock you out too. So we're gonna take out the drummer first, cause <clears throat> I don't know. I I feel that we need to take out the drummer, and he's gonna go out there with a grimer. And uh, I'm pretty sure I actually used a muck at some point on my. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I used a muck on my. What game was it? I think it must have been Leaf Green. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, so, it... Mark's actually another really good Pokemon that you can use, but, um, I, I always did prefer coughing. And cheers for that, uh, thanks, I'll have a look on my YouTube later on, I haven't actually been on my, uh, YouTube yet. So what I tend to do is I tend to try and, um, record a good few episodes of it on Twitch, and then I'll uh, upload them all onto YouTube at a uh, point afterwards. That way, it's like not you're not constantly waiting for installments. It's kind of it's more flowing, if you know what I mean. Like it all kind of comes in at once. And we're gonna use uh, Swift Attack on Grimer. And we're going. He's going into coughing. So I'm actually gonna go into Fire Bacon. Just let Fire Bacon. Uh, get a little bit of experience here and we're gonna just flame charge the crap out of it and see how it goes oh yeah that's the other really good thing about flame charge is um... it will actually increase your speed I, can't, I don't know if it's every time is it? I think it is actually, yeah. So I think it'll actually increase your speed every time that you use it. So it's really good for taking out uh, faster Pokemon. And the fact that it's actually on uh, Fire Bacon, who's actually quite a slow Pokemon to begin with, if you get a couple of speed boosts on it, um, it's really helpful. So I definitely recommend that you keep Flame Charge, if not, you know, all the game, uh, definitely for a while anyway. And the drummer's all sad and depressed now. So let's take out the backing vocalist and the other guitarist or is it a bassist, I don't know. How many how many pick how many heads is it? Six, so he's gonna go in there with Venipede? Venipide? I don't know how you pronounce that one. And uh, it's level fourteen, so we should be on level for the gym, but uh, obviously it's a gym battle, so it will be a little bit more difficult. Um, oh, it's going to poison sting me. No doubt I'll get poisoned, because poison sting... Oh, really? Okay. I was going to say, poison sting normally, like, always poisons me 100% of the time. It's really annoying. Whenever I use it, it's like, never poisons. And coughing next. I'm going to stay in with uh, thunder this time. Yeah, no, Poison Sting, it's not really worth keeping it in the long game, but it's like, at the beginning, it's just, it causes havoc with a lot of people, but it's kind of, as soon as it, it, it just never poisons for me, so it's kind of, I, I never bother keeping it, and I just kind of rage at it. And coughing is going to go down, and we killed Billy Joe. <laughs> I wonder if that's a reference to the singer of Green Day there, Billy Joe Armstrong, but, you know. It's probably not, it's probably just me kind of overthinking it a little bit. And we're going to heal up a little bit. And, um, do we have any berries? Yes, we have five iron berries. So, I'm actually going to give every single one of them a berry. Um, purely for the fact it'll just kind of, it'll give me that slight edge in the battle. Ooh. Actually, the curing from poison might have been quite useful, but, oh well. Get ready, I'm gonna knock some sense out of y'all. That wasn't even, you know, polite, that was just, I'm gonna kick, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill you. It's a bit rude, isn't it? 
Anyway, so this is Roxy, the second gym leader of this game, and she is a poison type trainer. Which is actually really cool, because there wasn't many poison gyms, um, <clears throat> actually I think this is only the second one. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is the second poison gym, like, since... Yeah, as in the only other gym I can think of that was poison was, uh, Koga. So I'm actually gonna just swift it a little bit, just hopefully it won't take it down into the red zone, so he won't, she won't heal it. <coughs> and hopefully she won't heal... Oh, she's pa he's paralyzed. And I've got my berry. And we have got this coughing down, really. Okay, so she, she's gonna heal, but you know, it doesn't really matter. The fact it's paralyzed is kind of... It's a major advantage for us. And Thunder, you're kind of having your debut in this gym. And I'm very proud of you, Thunder. You've done well. And see, that, that, that would be when Thunder dies. And there we go. Coughing is dead. And Thunder's actually going to grow to level 17 as well. And you're going to go into Whirlipede. Well, Fire Bacon? Go nuts! Uh, I actually completely forgot it ha she has a, Whirl a Whirlipede. Um, really, that's going to cause no trouble whatsoever for Fire Bacon. He should just be able to Flame Charge it a couple of times and... Or she's going to completely try and stall it out with Protect. Uh, a couple of flame charges and Whirlipede well, should go down. And what's Phenol Shock do? Either way, it's not gonna really knock me out, so I can kind of take them all day. <coughs> and now all she's really doing is preventing the inedible. We have got our second gym badge, and you know that's in two parts. That's pretty good. And Whirlipede is down. Fire Bacon, Thunder, you two are heroes. And wait, I was right in the middle of a song. And she's going to give you 2,000 bucks, so that's a nice amount of money. <coughs> what are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess this means you're strong. This stinks, but I give it everything I had, and I feel... Revitated... I don't even know what that word is now. And we have now got our second gym badge, guys, and I can't even remember what this one's called. What is it again? We will find out in a second. But that's us a quarter of the way to the Pokemon League already. And that's a toxic badge. And we get TM09, Venoshock as well. And so yeah, apparently that actually does a lot more damage if your opponent is already poisoned. So if you actually you combine it with Toxic, then I'm guessing that could be quite a deadly combo. Please come with me to Pokemon Studios. Huh. You're going to Poke Star Studios. The old man, I have to get him back to work as Captain. Okay then. So apparently my guy is going to be in movies or something, I think. <coughs> so what's going on out here? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and quickly heal up and then we're going to try and figure out where we're meant to go. So I don't actually quite remember. I have a feeling I just have to go up, but then again, I don't. So I'm going to have a wee look around. Can I finish exploring the rest of the city anyway? And there we go, we're nice and healed again. And off we go. Alright, there's nothing over there. 
If there's anything, I'm going to assume it's down here by the gym. Anything down here? No. Anything in this house over here? No. Yeah. I remember doing it from the my first playthrough. I'm pretty sure it's just really, really tedious. Okay, I'm just going to assume it's this way. Okay, yes it is this way. Hmm. I see that kid sounds promising. And that kid should be here any moment. And I'm here, but I am not a kid. Actually, I don't know. How old's the guy in this one? I think he's 14. So it's not a kid, but you're not exactly an adult either, so... You're a young adult. That's my boss. For you, what a grateful firework. Well then, Chris72, come with me. And I can just sit back and relax so I don't actually need to push any buttons at a moment. I can just stretch my arms. How can I relax? Okay, now I need to push buttons again. First, let me tell you briefly what Pokemon Studios is about. And I'm just going to sit and mash A. Because I don't really care. I will never come back here if I can avoid it. Films are shown, movie fans from all over gather here, how about we have a look inside? If we really have to, then yes. Here, this is the reception area. If it isn't, scout himself. Thank you, I made my movie debut. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Ah, uh, ah, oh, jeez. Hurry up. I wouldn't be surprised if you can actually hear me mashing the Z button right now. Yeah, no, I, I don't think you actually have to do anything uh, again. Um. Oh, jeez, you have to actually watch it, okay. Uh, at this point in the game, guys, just go ahead and make yourself a cup of tea or something. Or a cup of coffee, because... Uh... <laughs> uh, this is just me, like, face palming right now. This is just... Uh... As I said, go make yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, go get a snack, go to the bathroom, just go do something, just... Uh, mashing the Z button doesn't work at this point. I've got to sit and watch this. And Brace Man, go my Pokemon. Can you hold on? No. Hurry up. An amusement park? What? What's this guy on about? See, if I was actually, like, paying attention, I might know the actual plot of this film, but... Okay, so... You're pretty good, Ryolu, man. Okay, apparently the whole audience is raging as well, so it's not just me. And now everyone wakes up and they're all confused. Like, what the hell just happened? Mwa 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 mwa. They're all kind of like, what? Like, if you look down... Oh, they're gone. Like, look at his face. Look at this guy right here. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, you have to sit and watch credits. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Okay, you quite finished game. No, okay, very good. Okay, that's the finishing now. Okay.
Can I carry on with my game now? Okay, he, he, even he doesn't know what's going on. How did I enjoy the movie? Yeah, I think dot 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 is the correct answer. Different people have different talents. So da, da, da. Oh, I really want to pursue my life. Right. Yeah, they really are torturing us. Uh, going back to my duties as a ship. Someday I'll return. I'll leave starring roles to you. I don't want to star in the films. God damn it. Oh, where am I going now? No, where are you taking me? I do not want to watch another film. Where, where, where are you taking me? No. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go back to a ship captain so he can take me to the next city so I can go and get another gym badge. No, I don't want... No, no. This is the filming studio. This is where Poco Poco Stars movies are born. Uh, yeah, it is a kidnap. I'm getting... Uh, uh, uh. I brought Chris 72. No, yeah, you kidnapped me. I didn't want to come. I brought you here because I have a very important request. I'll bet you figured it out, but I want you to be in... No, I don't want to be in your movie. Go away. There's no doubt in my mind this trainer will be a top star. I don't want to be in your movie. Leave me alone. Oh, look, it's Bryce. Look. Okay, maybe just because he's in your movie doesn't mean I want to be in your movie. Ah. Okay, but you know, we're going to have to be in his movie if we want to advance. So, let's just get it over with quick. What kind of Pokemon do you want to have before I'm with you? Let's just rent. I'm pretty sure that's all you can actually do unless you have uh unless you have your own Ryolu, I'm pretty sure you have to. Oh what is this? What is this torture? Oh my god. I actually want oh my god uh I'm sorry if I'm moaning a lot, guys. I just really hate the Pokemon Studios. I really hate this part of the game. I'm sorry if I'm moaning a lot. Okay, it's dead. Well done, Ryolu. It's not even the kind of movie I want to watch. Jeez. Prepare to be finished. You know, I'm gonna ruin- shut- Yeah, I'm gonna ruin your movie. I'm scared. How pitiful. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just ruin their movie. Let's just act like a little- Yeah. Okay, so- Wait, Air Slash? Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I ruined this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, that's it for today. Okay, I think I ruined this movie. <laughs> Does that mean I can quit now? Am I done? Is my movie career over? Yes, why not? Yeah, well, yeah, you guys can release that movie. I don't care. I, I'm never going to get seen again around here. Oh, hurry up. There we go. Great, good work. That was, uh... Amazing. No! No! Wait, yes. Interrupt us. I'm not gonna go and see how it turned out. I think I'm gonna run away. And never return. It's not. Do I have to go this? No, no, it's up here. No, it's not that way.
Ah, uh, where am I going? Down this way. Run. Run. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I really hope I don't have to watch that movie. <clears throat> like, I hope I don't like, get down here, then find out that apparently I can't advance until I watch that film. Because that would actually suck so much. Ah, it's fine. It's cool. So you guys are Team Plasma. And really, they just remind me of Team Aqua. And really, I think we're just going to have to battle one each. And Hugh has to do that little kind of sidestep. What, you think you can beat me? Well, I'm pretty sure I can. It's not really a think thing, is it? It's kind of... I kind of know I can. The force is telling me I can. <coughs> and here we go. Pat Rat level 14. And apparently I still have Thunder 072 up front. Uh, I should probably actually train a tiny little bit. I might just go and quickly kill a couple of our dinos. Uh, before we advance any further. No, I might just kill one each. Okay, there we go. Now, see, that wasn't that difficult, was it? Sit down. I can't believe kids like this caught us off guard. Turf, let's run. That's what I thought. Get out, get out of my sight. Bunch of creeps. Wait, apparently I need to... Oh, we need to follow them. HMO1 cut. So, we actually have a new HM now. Um, although I'm not going to teach HM01 cut to any of my team, so I'm going to have to go and get a slave. So, yeah. Do do do, where are we going? Always a little spot in the water there, but we haven't got surf or anything, so... And out we go. Route 20. We need... See, the one time I'm actually looking for a pat rat is the one time I will never find one. Any money or anything that can learn cut. And I'm going to move Bugsy up front. I think Bugsy is my, now my lowest level and I really want it to kind of level up another couple of times. Aha, Pat Rat, here we go. You will now be joining my team as Slave. And, um, what Pokeballs do I have? I'm going to throw a Great Ball at it. Hopefully I'll get it in one. If it doesn't, then... I will be extremely disappointed, Pat Rat. Three Wiggles. Four Wiggles. And we have got Pat Rat. And he'll just get called Slave, I think. Or Mr. Dot Slave. It is a guy. Yeah, it is a guy. Okay, so. Upper class. Upper case. Mr. Dot so, No, not 8 S A V E Mr. Dot Slave Okay, so we now have our uh, Cut Slave And I'm going to quickly just teach him that No less frustration up HM01. 
Mr. Slave has learned to come. And, uh, yeah, if, if you know where Mr. Slave is from, awesome. Uh, now where do we go? Where do we go? I'm actually gonna throw a repel up because I can just can't tell. I'm gonna get absolutely hoarded by like level twos. Okay, so Hughes kind of hanging about here. Uh, da -da -da, where am I going? Aha, Team Plasma. There we go. And there we go, here we go, Team Plasma. So let's kind of quickly take out this grunt and see what's going on. Purloin. And Bugsy should be able to take this out in one Bugs Bite. And uh, I can't remember if I actually said it already in this video, um, he did actually learn Razor Leaf off screen. Um, so that actually is now covering a lot more Pokemon that we can actually take out. So that kind of covers the ground and rock, although fighting type actually would have covered the rock in itself. And I'm now just thinking out loud guys, so... And there we go, Purloin, sit down you, you feline. I don't like cats. I don't know, cats kind of creep me out. Yet we have, yeah I actually live in a house with four cats. I'm going to flee again, goodbye, everywhere I sit, okay. And Hugh is going to come up to me and be like, How didn't I see him there? We must be moving around by boat. That's a big port bar, I wonder if we're headed there, let's go back to it. So, okay, so I didn't even need to get a pat rat. Okay, I'm disappointed now. Either way, I think I've seen a tree that needs to be cut down somewhere else. I think it was down by the by the work area, so I'm gonna go and see if I can cut down that tree, and then uh, hopefully get a cool hidden item or something. And what's going on over here? Actually, is this town not one of the sewers? No, that's the next city, isn't it? I actually love the music for this city. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon Coliseum. And is it round here I can use cut? Um. Okay, maybe I didn't see a cut thing. Maybe I was imagining, but I was sure I did. Oh well, maybe it's some. Maybe it's from somewhere else next to it. I don't know. We'll come back here another day when I can be bothered trying to find it. It'll be somewhere, and we're back to Burbank City. City of Dreams and Legends. I thought your movie was pretty good. So you saw it. The movie was... No. It wasn't the movie, it was me. I was so excited that I didn't really become Raul, you man. Thrill or excite anymore. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue as captain. As long as you don't cause any trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studios people feel about that, though. Oh, did you hear us? Well, it looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I don't feel really good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there was a lot of ruckus, but you can settle, you can sail to Castadia City now. And we'll be heading to the next city. Okay, so apparently I can... Should make a show for YouTube called Cutting with Mr. Slave. <laughs> just make a whole video of finding like the trees and just cutting them all down. Like a whole episode. 
like a whole like two hour montage of just cutting things. Either that or just Mr. Slave cutting wild Pokemon lower level than it. Well leveling up with Mr. Slave. And there we go. Here is the next city. We arrived in Castadia City. It's much bigger than I heard, but it doesn't matter. We won't find Team Plasma no matter where we run. Oh yeah, Chris? Here, let's register each other's number. I like we were only just registering each other now. I'm pretty sure we were meant to be friends. Ah, oh, well. And this is actually a really cool city, guys. There's a lot to do here. And off the bat, go and get that high scale. But no, th this city is actually full of stuff to do. And what's this clown doing? It's the Custodia Hunt. Where's it? Is it? Oh, great. Have a bicycle. Yeah. If only that's how it actually works. Let's be serious. I mean, I'd love just to go into a town and be like, Hey, is this your first time here? Uh, and then would be like, Yeah. And then be like, Here. Have a bike. I don't know. I would actually love that. I'd just be like, Awesome. Thank you for that. Either way, I'm not going to complain, though, because it is, as I said, free stuff. And I, I did mean to register that, so... And I'm going to heal up quickly because I don't want to end up dying and end up going back all the way to the previous city. And what's this, what's this guy, what's this wifey saying? Yes, I know about it, I don't want to hear about it. If you ever say no to anyone, if you ever say no to anyone asking you a question in this game, prepare to be absolutely bombarded with text that's irrelevant. So I advise that you always just say yes to those questions. Either of that, if you get asked a super question and you say no to it, then uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna get forced into answering again, so And you'll actually remember the city from Black and White 1 if you already played it. And uh as I said there's a lot to do here. But if you actually go over to the way that you'd have come in from Black and White 1, I'm pretty sure you can actually go through it. I'm pretty sure the entrance is blocked. Yeah. Please wait to cross when inspecting the Sky Arrow Bridge. So yeah, you can't actually go over there. So you can't actually go back to your uh, starting town from the first game right our way. So you have to actually wait. What's going on around here? Some trainer is even toughen up the Pokemon in the sewers. Okay, so that'll be the sewers there. And if you actually go through the sewers, I'm pretty sure you can actually get a cool little you go to a lot you end up going to a cool little place where you can get some decent Pokemon. Uh one of which actually is an Eevee. And obviously you can evolve Eevee into multiple things. Um so yeah, Eevee's always a good Pokemon to get in your team. And if you go all the way down here, here is the Pokemon Gym. There might be trouble, and he took off. You can go for look for him if you like. And who's this? It's Iris. And obviously you're kind of confused at this point, because the gym leader seems to have gone missing. And uh, you really don't know where he is. No one knows where he is. Although she's run off in that direction, so you can probably assume it's that way. Although... I'm going to carry on cycling about just because I want to show the rest of the town. What's all around here? Uh, some vending machines there if you want to get so get yourself some drinks. Um, I definitely recommend you do that because they actually come out cheaper than the potions. Hey, where did I put those sunglasses? Wait, what? 
Huh. So a guy jumps out from you from behind a bin and gives you the TM for Flash. Huh. I think there's some subliminal messaging going on, Nintendo. I don't know. Even Vara is a flasher. That's what I'm getting at. And, uh, what's this over here? Studio. I'm just staying away from anything that says studio on it. And, uh, this is actually the ice cream place. But I'm pretty sure you can't buy it in the winter. Which is actually, oh, I can't bother talking to her. And that's actually when my game is set right now, which is in the winter, so... But if you go back there in summer, uh, you can actually get the cast, cast, you know what I mean, the little ice cream cone guys, uh, and they will actually basically act as a full heal. And here's Iris here. Hey, come on, thumb here is down past here. If you mention a suspicious place, there's a narrow street. Oh, can I? Okay, apparently I can get them now, but I've already gone past it, and I'll, I'll I'll go get some at some point when I'm passing it again. I have a couple of antidotes with me, so if I get poisoned in the sewers, then I already have it covered. I said, just cycle up really slowly, just unnecessary. Okay, where did you come from? Yeah, do you, if you buy them, do you not sell them off more expensively in Pokemarts? Or do you sell them to someone individually? <coughs> and here we go. So, we're, you actually go around with Hugh. Although, I'm actually gonna... Where is it? Where is my bag? There it is, repels. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna spray up a repel and then we're gonna... Exp okay, you can't go that way in the sewers, goddammit. I'm pretty sure when I actually played the sewers for the first time, this is probably one of the other points in the game I really, really disliked. Um, I'm pretty sure I kept getting lost and I had no idea where the hell I was going. Can I walk over that? No, I can't. Okay, it's a dead end. Wait a minute, I have a rappel up. Uh, double Zubat. They must be like really hot. Wait a minute. Uh, run. Okay. So apparently, there's higher than level 16 in here. So... I'm going to switch fire bacon up front, and then we will carry on moving on. And yeah, I, I just read it there as I was going along. I was just kind of trying to get away from- Oh, Team Plasma! What the hell are you two doing over here? I'm going to quickly get that twisted spoon. And here we are again, uh, Red Shadow 13. And yeah, we, we had that conversation uh, literally a couple of minutes ago about kind of getting an Eevee and how it can take a while. But uh, I might actually do that. I can't actually decide between a uh, Seismitoad on my team or I can't decide between a uh, Vaporeon. So I probably, I'll probably let other people decide to be honest because I, I really like both those Pokemon. See, the thing about Seismitoad that attracts me is the ground type. But then, obviously, the Porygon has, like, the amazing HP and special defense, so... I'll have to... have to wait and see how I'm feeling. I should probably try and train up a little bit again. I'm kind of getting a little bit underleveled. Um, the fact that, uh, Hugh's Duo is actually a higher level than my, uh, Fire Bacon. It kind of probably implies I should be training a little bit more. But, um, really, it's 
uh, I'll, I'll probably try and find the little Eevee bit, and I'll go up there and I'll try and find a couple of our dinos just to train against, and then hopefully we can go and take on Bruff. And there we go. I did read it, then I got confused and I had to go I got distracted by Team Plasma. But yeah, apparently if you actually get twelve casticones a day, but you can sell one for two thousand. So uh, I will actually go back up there at some point and I will try and buy some. And I will definitely sell them all off and I will make a lot of money. Okay, so we're actually gonna get HMO4 strength. And I had actually completely forgot that's where you get it. Uh, strength's actually not a bad at- oh, you there. Who, who's shouting at me now? Oh, it's this guy. That was an excellent demonstration of battling. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, leave me alone. And if <laughs> anyone's actually played through the game, I always think that guy is a bit of a weirdo. He just kind of hangs about with his steel types. I don't really know. Come challenge. Maybe you should hang around in the sewers, or you should come and challenge me in the gym. Well, as much as hanging around in sewers is appealing, I'm only really here. Where am I? Relic passage. Confused face. How the hell did I get here? Okay. Right. Well, I don't really want to hang out in relic passage. Um, I'll explore there again at some point when I have a couple more repels. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where am I going? Where am I running? Where are you going now? All the way down around here. And as I said guys, this is why I hate the sewers. I always get confused and lost and then I... Where is this? Okay, we found a trainer anyway, so it's not a complete loss. You are challenged by Janitor Felix. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I've still got uh, M yeah, Fire Bacon up front. Yeah, I, I really need to try and train up uh, Suwaddle a little bit. As much as I I'm actually enjoying using Fire Bacon. Fire Bacon's uh, a lot better than I actually thought it was. I might just be getting converted to a Tepig fan. Now where is it? Trubbish, poison types of grass and bug won't be very effective so I'm gonna go into thunder. Although I'm pretty sure there is like a little tower that you can train at and um, there's a load of trainers in there and I'm pretty sure I can get a couple of levels on Sawaddle in there so that's probably where I'll go after I finish the sewers. Swift will hopefully take it down a little bit more. Nope, okay, apparently Shockwave does more damage. And there we go, Trubbish is gonna faint. Who cares about winning or losing that spot over there? Da, da, da. Okay. Repels worn off. Yes, yeah, so I'll activate another one. Whoa, we can go around here. I am so confused. Where the hell am I? Okay, right. Uh, where am I going? Do, do. And is this the exit? No, it is not the exit. Is this the exit? I think it is. Salvation. 
we have found the morning light, or the evening, the, the dusk light. And Iris is going to see us and she's going to come running at us and she's going to like attack us with a crazed dragon and we're going to be like, what is going on? Sorry, scratching my head there. And we are now going to run out and we are going to probably go and take on Bruff pretty soon to be honest. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can take him out. Uh, with probably very little more training, I think it, it wouldn't hurt to train a little bit more, but um, most definitely, I think we're probably going to get him. And, yep, there we go. Healing up. We hope to see you again. And there we go. Apparently we've run out of repels as well. So it was kind of a good time that we got out. And... We're going to throw Bugsy up front. Because Bugsy is currently my lowest level. And was that so difficult? Who's this guy? Okay, so he's actually going to give you the XP share. Uh, sorry about that, I had to quickly speak to my sister, and I will be ending the stream here just now, and I will be resuming it in probably about 15-20 minutes, so if you want to ca come back then and watch more, I would greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to follow. Um, if you're watching on YouTube later on, don't forget to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll be streaming again soon, so if you want to come back and watch, that'd be awesome. But if you don't, you know, cool, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you all guys later.